Hello! Hello! May I speak now? Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Now, I'm here because I want to help. Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear! This ridiculous thing you're trying to do! This hotel! I want to help you run it! <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades! My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I have come to crave a new form of entertainment! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! It's the purest kind, my dear! Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage! And the stage is a world of entertainment! <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! Consider it an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself! I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment! Only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? He's a deal maker. So it's a deal then? Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. So where is your hotel staff? Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? Ha! No. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. This little darling is nifty! Ah, Husker, my good friend! Glad you could make it! Good to see you too! My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you! Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. So, what do you think? <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. You have a dream you wish to tell. And it's just laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, the charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! Ha <laughs> 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 Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. Or an this cesspool with some old redemption flair. And show these simpletons some proper class and style. Oh, here below the ground. I'm Oh, your plan is sound. They'll spend a little time down at this has been Do I know you? Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir. This is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. Now. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, hello there, you wayward sinner.
Do you like blood, violence, and depravity of a sexual nature? Of course you do! That's why you're in hell! Welcome to the Has Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption. Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter, Charlotte Morningstar. Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands as she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you. Here we offer fun things, such as somewhat functional staff, custom rooms, and just look at this turkey parlor. Wow! All this and more at the Has Been Hotel. So, what do you think? Funny, I was going for hilarious. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time. And everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, <laughs> never going to happen. Oh, trust me, I can. Hmm. Oh. Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there, hmm? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Like you are doing now. Good job. I wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. That Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Or, Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Now then! I pulled a few limbs, too. Ha ha ha! Who are you? Ha! Huh. Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Oh, nobody important. Oh, monster! I think he's had enough! Nah, he's got a few more hits in him. Thanks for another forgettable experience. Well, it looks as though I need a visit to the tailor. Best of luck, chums! Of course! Can't let my new project fall into disrepair already. What would the paper say? Salutations! Good to be back on the air! Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice! Instead of a cloud-chasing, mediocre video podcast, is Luke's insecure, pursuing a lure, but in between this fat and that, is nothing working? Ignore his chirping! Every day he's got a new format! You is Vox as strong as he performs, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other V. Oh, please! And he is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Oh, I said no, and now he's busy. That's the tea. Uh-oh, the TV is buffering. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone Tune on in when I'm done Your status quo will know its race is run Oh, this will be fun <laughs> Let's be gay. I'm going to fuck you with my giant dick. You little brick. When I come and pull it out your ass, the shit will run. You better not come. <laughs> Yes, you're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. Oh, not many people have been able to take even this much off me. It must have meant quite a lot to you. You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? I'm in the middle of breakfast. Oh, well, in that case, I'd be delighted to. Hmm, well, that's a lot less hot. But I suppose I can take care of that on my outing today. Follow in 
in silence if you value your shell. Greetings, Zestial! Ah! Looks like we might have some acid rain this afternoon. <laughs> oh, I just took a well-earned sabbatical. Nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> That is for me to know. But please, do guess. I'd love to know the theories. Coming from someone as ancient as you, I take that as quite the compliment. No, no. I have a very important task for you. Stay here and guard the front until I return. Yes, I know. I've been absent some time. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Oh, tasty. Spooky. It could happen. No, no, that's right, that's possible. Oh, that's possible. That's possible, I suppose. I don't know. That was a productive meeting. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. You, little egg creature, I have a job for you. Follow them. <laughs> so, what did you hear? <laughs> uh, what was that last thing? Interesting. Let's keep this between us. <laughs> Yes, well, the little monsters prove to be rather useful. Just some of the renovations we had done. Adds a bit of color, don't you think? Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sir. Quite a pleasure. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. You are much shorter in real life. Aha! No! I am the host of the hotel. You might have heard of me from my radio broadcast. Ha ha ha! It was actually my idea. Ha ha! Fuck you! Charlie has a very unique vision. I am happy to fulfill her bizarre requests. Quite an impressive young lady. We're all very proud of her. Who's been here since day one? Who's been faithful as a nun? Who makes you chuckle with an old timey pun? Your executive producer! That's true! Chum, your steadfast hotelier. Remember when I fixed that call today? I'm truly honored that we built such a bond. Aww. You're like the child that I wish that I had. Uh, what? I care for you just like a daughter I spawned. Hold on now. It's a little funny. You could almost call me Dad. They say when you're looking for assistance, it's smart to pick the path of least resistance. Sadly, there are times a birth parent is a dot. They say the family you choose is better. Can you butt out of my song? Your song I'm singing it, I'll finish it! You... Mimsy! <laughs> of course, sweetheart. Everyone is welcome here. Oh, quite a talent, this gal. <laughs> you should have seen her in her heyday. <laughs> As much as I'd love to catch up, Charlie and I have a tour to continue. Nonsense! We started the hotel together, and we'll show it off together. Right, Charlie? Why don't you let the others help you settle in, and I'll be back before you know it. With self as the radio demon, and anyone that would mess with him? <laughs> well, let's just say... New voices. Mm. What is it? It's nothing I can't handle. Don't worry, Husker. Who in their right mind would cross me? They don't need to know. And don't you worry your fuzzy head about me. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> If you ever say that again, I will tear your soul apart and broadcast your screams for every other disrespectful wretch who dares to question me. Lovely. Ah, good talk, my good man. Always nice to catch up. Now, my dear, leave it to me. It's time I remind everyone why I am here. Not to mess with the radio demon! <laughs> I will devour each and every one of you! Oh, I missed getting to let off steam. I think you should go, Mimsy. Now. I mean it. 
You deliberately brought danger to this place just to have me clean up your mess. I can't have that here. You are welcome if you actually want to give redemption a shot. But I think we both know that's not really your style. So you need to leave. Hmm. Oh, Charlie, you look an absolute mess. No, now, is that any way to act after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? Who's joking? You have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. Well, I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. <laughs> Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. I know something you don't know. Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. Anything? Then, let's make a deal. Your soul? Heavens, no! All I need from you is one itty-bitty favor. What's a favor between friends? Who's asking? One favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one. In return, I tell you what I know. Do we have a deal? Right on cue! Oh, calm down. She still owns her soul. And I know just who can help. As long as Charlie can be her normal, charming self. Good girl. Cannibal Town. There's a friend of mine I think you should meet. Isn't it, though? And it's all thanks to a very special someone. A what now? A Charlie, this is Rosie, the most darling, delightful, and dangerous overlord this side of the pentagram. <laughs> And Rosie, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Princess Charlie Morningstar. Appreciate the offer, but we're here on business of another kind. We need your help. Well, your cannibal's help, at least, to fend off the attack. Oh, your people will be far from helpless when we're done with them. And by the end, they will be able to eat their fill. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. Uh, Susan. Uh, Ornery old bitch. Susan. At feast on all the angels you can eat. Surprised why I knew she could do it all along. She's bound to pass the test as princess of hell. Like her daddy, she is badly powerful. She's filled with potential that I could guide. I concur. Stick with her, you'll be on the winning side. Ah, the celebratory night before a courageous last stand. It's been a surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Almost makes one sentimental, eh, Nifty? Ah, an enjoyable collective to be around. I admit one could get accustomed. Oh, to understand your twisted little mind. <laughs> oh. Let the slaughter begin. <laughs> Adam! First man, next to die. Alistair! Pleasure to be meeting you, quite a pleasure. I'm about to end your fucking life. Uh -uh -uh. You should know better than anyone what a soul can accomplish when they take charge of their own fate. I'm tougher than you. <laughs> you lack discipline, control, and worst, you're sloppy. <laughs> Poetry! What just happened? Fuck. Have to disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. <laughs> this place reeks of death. There's a chill in the air. And I barely escaped being killed by a hair. Great Alistair Owl.
altruist died for his friends Sorry to disappoint, that is not where this ends I'm hungry for freedom like never before The constraints of my deal surely have a back door Once I figure out how to unclip my wings Guess who will be pulling all the strings?